Okay, in this video we look at how to convert from a decimal over to some other base. Perhaps you're being tortured by aliens and they work at a number base and they want your telephone number. Or they want your uh, credit card number. And you've got to convert it over so they can understand it. Um, now, if you haven't yet watched the video on converting from uh, a base end number over to decimal, please watch that because that introduces the notation we use and it talks about what a base end system looks like. And we need that to be able to convert from decimal to base end. So recall again in a base end system your place values all represent powers of n. And so we're going to look how to convert from decimal to that base system. So here is our first example. We want to take the number 87 and write it in base 4. What you need to understand about base 4 is we're going to be talking about place values, places that are in terms of powers of 4. So you have your 1's place, your 4's place, your 4 squared or 16's place, and your 4 cubed or 64's place. So the first thing you want to do is look at your powers of 4. So let's list those out. So there they are. 1, 4, 16, 64, 256. We can keep going. But really, 256 doesn't even really belong there. He's too big. He can't go into 87, so we're not going to use him. And to write now a number in its base 4 system, we need to know how many groups of size 4 cubed, how many groups of size 4 squared, how many groups of size 4, how many groups of size 1 do we need. Well, we could sit around and start throwing numbers in until we get something to work out, or we could do a little bit more organized. And what we're going to do is look at the largest power of 4 that will actually go into 87, in this case, our good old friend 64, and divide him in first. So 64 will go into 87 only one time. So we need to use long division here. We have 23 left over. Hang on to that 1. That's how many 64's we need. We now move to our next place value, which is 16. 16's place. How many 16's can we get out of 23? Only the 1. And we do the same thing with the next place value, the 4. How many 4's can we get out of 7? Only the 1 in this case. Finally, the last place is the ones. How many ones can we get out of three? Well, we can get three out of them. Then we take those values that we just found, our three, our one, our one, and our one, and we string them together to get our answer in base four. So in base four, our number would be one, 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 three. In base 4, using the notation we introduced in the other video. So now here in a second, we're going to move on to another example. Bang, here we are. We want to write 295 in base 7. So much like we did with the base 4 problem, we want to first look at powers of 7. So powers of 7. Our powers of 7 are 1, 7, 49. The next one's going to be 343, which is too big for 295. So we're going to start by dividing 49 into 295. Okay, and you may want to pause the video, try this out yourself, as I uh, use the magic of video editing to get this done very quickly. I want to pause now because the answer is coming up. Okay, well, I kind of lied because something really cool happened here. Uh, 49 goes into 295 exactly or six times with only one left over. They may be tempted to say, well, seven isn't going to work. I'm going to leave it out. Well, you could do that, but I don't think you'd be very happy if your boss decided to leave a zero off your paycheck.
instead of giving you $105, maybe he's going to give you $15. So you want to leave that value in, even though we know it's going to be a zero, we still need that place value. And then finally, we can go in one gives it a one one time, and so our answer is 601 in base 7. In our next example, uh, which is going to appear here in just a moment, we're going to look at how to, or another example of converting this time to a base that's bigger than uh, 10. And one of the things you have to be careful about uh, when you're dealing with a base bigger than 10, hopefully you watched the other video where we introduced those symbols for the numbers 10 through 19. Uh, when those come up as one of your quotients, you're going to have to rewrite it using the correct symbol. So here we go. And here we are. We want to take the inoculus little number 1516 and write it in base 16. Uh, base 16 also, by the way, has another name. It's called hexadecimal. Uh, hexadecimal was used by computer programmers. It's kind of a little go between uh, between numbers that we understand, which are decimals, numbers the computer understand, which is base 2 or binary. So base 16 is used by programmers. You'll find it probably most often in your everyday life in web pages. It's used for color codes in web pages. So here we want to take this number 1516. We want to convert it over to base 16. So once again, we're going to look at our powers of 16. Those are 1, 16. Right? Pretty easy. The next one is 256. Now, I don't know off the top of my head what the next one is, but I know enough to know that if I multiply 256 by 16 uh, it's going to be a lot better, a lot bigger than 1516. So we start with the 256, we want to divide that into uh, 1516. Once we have a remainder we'll divide 16 into that. Once we have the remainder there we'll divide 1 into that. So you may want to pause the video right now, work it out, and then you can check your work. Hopefully you took time to do this yourself, because here's the answer now. Uh, 256 goes into 15, 16, 5 times, with 236 left over. 16 then goes into 236, 14 times, with 12 left over, and 1 will go into 12, 12 times. Now what we're going to need to do is the null answer is not 51412 in base 16. We need to take the number 14 and write it in base 16. Likewise, the number 12, you have to take that and write it in base 16. Well, you may remember A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, so E is 14. And I already said that C was 12, so this is going to be the number 5EC in base 16. And there we have it, converting from decimal over to another number base.